So 24 hours to go before the people in New Hampshire head to the polls. How can you shift that momentum? And I guess let me give you a chance to address that adjective, a panic within your campaign. Well, I, I feel great, actually. Maybe it's because I've just been in a lot of elections. I've always known that this was going to be a, a long and a very uh, contested process. Obviously, it's a short period of time, um, so it is going to be challenging. But I think we're you know, going to be a, a very effective uh, presence on the ground here in New Hampshire. Because usually the elections are spaced out more than these, people are focusing everything on this uh, you know, final couple of days. And so... I, I'm just going to do the best I can. And I feel very calm, very confident uh, about the outcome of this uh, as we go forward. You say you feel good about it, but uh, Diane Sawyer asked Barack Obama about your campaign yesterday, and he called it depressing. I, I think that uh, the, uh, uh, that is the kind of characterization uh, that is you know, made by candidates who are trying to avoid scrutiny of their own records. Uh, let's talk about somebody else instead of answering questions about you know, what I have or haven't done. You know, when you rail against lobbyists, as he has, and talk about how you're a different kind of politician, and then you have a lobbyist running your campaign in New Hampshire, when you say that John Edwards isn't electable because he changed positions between 2004 and 2008, and then you have a long record of changing positions, you know, all of a sudden you start to ask yourself, wait a minute, I mean, what is the substance here? What, as uh, famously was said years ago, where's the beef? You know, where is the reality? And I think that's a fair question. Voters are going to be asking themselves the tough questions that all of us have to right. ask about who is best uh, prepared to deal with these problems and who has not just uh, the hopes for America, but how to make hope happen, how we can deliver on the results that uh, are so important. We don't want people to be uh, given false hopes. We want right. to give uh, the real results that they deserve to have.